Hey folks, what's here? Welcome back to another Paul Master video, and today we're gonna check out uh, Morning Driplin. Um, I already used Morning Driplin in like a few videos before, but none of those were like really using him as a, as you know his real purpose. What you know what he actually really excels at is not really single player battles. Um, what Morty is best at is actually um, co-op, right? And we haven't really gotten a co-op unit in a while, and it's not without good reason. Like co-op is kind of whatever right now. Um, you know, there's nothing really important, um, you know, that, that's happening in co-ops. Usually it, the co-op stages are just, you know, new training events, which are relatively easy. <laughs> and you have to use the respective types. Um, so co-op units have been useful in a while now. Um, for, as, as, you know, as useful as, say, more single-player oriented units, right? And uh, Morty is a uh, it is a co-op unit for the most part because it it's it does have in the passive it does have benefactor right so you could just you could die hit plus and then benefactor pass it on to whatever next sync pair which is really really powerful for a co-op this is very very powerful for a co-op uh, but then again co-ops again not a big deal um, and also another great thing about Morty is Morty just goes you know swap between Phantom Force and Shadow Ball which move gauge and co-op is a huge issue. <laughs> Um, which Morty doesn't have that issue because, again, fan Force, it is a quick move. It also takes two turns, um, <laughs> which, again, I'm not a fan of, but it's it's not as big of an issue in Quap because usually you don't even get to your sync move um, before the stage ends, so there's that. Uh, so basically what you could do with Morty is you could Dire Hit, uh, Dire Hit Plus, and then, you know, Pierce the Veil, and then you'll get uh, plus three crit and plus four attack, or special attack, I guess. Um... And plus two evasion list onto your next uh, unit. So a lot of units that don't have, say, crit or whatever, right? You could just go ahead, dire hit, dire hit plus, dire hit plus, and then pass it on to that unit. For example, a really good one would be, uh, well, they have crits, but not reliable crits. Um, something like a, uh, well, Lance doesn't have crits at all, but, you know, Lance doesn't have crit. Uh, Metagross's crits aren't extremely reliable. Um, I mean, they are guaranteed <laughs> twice. Um, or you could bullet punch out first but that would require you to sync first and in co-ops you generally don't get this sick at all uh, before the match is over um sharpedo is another one um really you, you don't want to use that i mean you have a crit buff you don't want to use it <laughs> and uh you know stuff like for alligator right um a lot of these units uh do have s some issues there and uh Driftland basically fixes all those issues in in co-op right so um anyways uh let's get into this then um, as for the grid, I showed you guys, there's nothing really interesting in there. One out of five, it's just basically just Phantom Force power-ups and MP refresh, move gauge refreshes and stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and do EX Flannery. And we'll have Morty support... Um, we'll have Morty support our uh, Chris and for Alligator. So, well, we don't get accuracy buffs, unfortunately. But we do get crits for, for for Alligator, so for Alligator doesn't have to worry about that um, as much, right? So... Uh, let's get into this. And also max attack, because Chris actually doesn't have max attack. It's like, what, plus four, right? Anyways, let's do this. I don't think anyone else is going to join, though. <laughs> I mean, who does these anymore these days? Um, generally. I mean, especially, you know, when a new event comes out, most people are just playing the event instead. Um, usually, people play this more once the event, you know, we've got a few days in the, into the event. People are either done or kind of bored with it, and they'll just come back to... Uh, grinding whatever they're grinding for example water gear here right anyways let's do this also we get a uh, fresh fresh gauge of um gauges fresh gauge of gauges <laughs> um when we swap into for alligator so that's cool as well i guess it's not like a i mean it's 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 just what happens when you're buffing <laughs> it's nothing it's nothing special um for morty it's not exclusive to morty it's just something that happens when you buff Anyways, let's get Pierce the Veil again. Oh, we got an MP refresh on that as well. Um, okay, let's do that. Just because we get more evasiveness instead of just, you know, X attacking with uh, for Alligator. Right? So let's do that. And then we'll go ahead, Benefactor into um, for Alligator's Mega Kick. And this for Alligator, as you can see, the symbol's down there. We got all those stats and stuff. Um, the crit, all that. And um, obviously, obviously the Mega Kick would miss. <laughs> Alright. Can we get one in? That should be a one shot, I'd assume. Ooh, boom, one shot. Let's go. For alligator still like for alligator obviously has its, you know, downsides, but like if you want like if once these 
mega kick, start landing, and start actually critting. Well, Fairy does a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I guess my mega kick was a bit overkill here. Then probably should have waterfalled. Oh well. Anyways, oh, well, at least ours landed. So that's always nice. <laughs> Don't have them too often. Oh, please, 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 give us some speed. Just please, speed, 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 speed. Please. All right. Um. Ouch, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Mega kick. Uh, that's before they sink. So we get one in before we get taken out, at least. Not that I think we're gonna get taken out. Oh, you know what? That's actually really, really good. Um, so they can redirect the damage after I sink move, so I don't get the uh, <laughs> so I don't get the target on my back. Although it's not like that big of a distance for alligators like, have endurance. Uh, as long as we don't get taken out by the sink move, we're good. Okay, yeah, yeah, that didn't do much. Wait, what the heck is Fraligator's bulk? Oh my god, what? I never paid attention to Fraligator's bulk. Um, what the heck? Uh, I mean, since we're, like, waiting for our gauge, just pick up the pace, I guess. So our mega kick doesn't really miss. Um, okay, you know what? That was a bad idea. <laughs> Thankfully! Thankfully, uh, Unity disrupted that, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll just go ahead and mega kick them. Alright. What, what the heck is this guy's defensive stats? Ralligator. They're not good. I mean, it has a lot of HP, but, like, that's about it. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, well. I guess it's just because the NPC is probably, like, their lower level. Because uh, this did come out um, back when the level cap was only 100. So maybe they're only, like, at level 100 or something. Maybe. Oh, thanks for taking, taking the aggro for me. And we won't get taken out because we have endurance. Unless we get, like, burned. Okay. Oh, we're good. Oh, <laughs> we're good. Didn't get burned. Um, sinking with claw, sir. This should be easy. GG. But yeah, as you can see, Benefactor Driftblind in co-op. Very, very good. Um, it fixes a lot. Oh my, look that down. It fixes a lot of sink pairs issues. Uh, you know, again, Fraligator, Metagross, stuff like that. Um, Solgaleo, or Sogaleo, right? I can't even think of Sogaleo. That's another one. They could fix because Sugaleo also doesn't have uh, crit, right? Does have you know the plus the the max buffs on on the other offensive stats, which is really really good. Um, so that definitely helps, and especially co-op, you know, when you're playing with randos and you don't have people coordinating, you maybe giving you some support or whatever. Uh, if you're just with randos, then obviously it's really really help uh, helpful to uh, to be more helpful for yourself. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and try out Driftblim, um, just as you know by himself in co-op. Uh, so we could do that. Um, are there, yes, there is a, there's main story stage that's weak to ghosts, right? Ghostly Trio, are you guys weak to ghosts? I think you're weak to, like, ice and something else, right? Ice and dark, actually. Well, I, apparently not, then. Um, is someone else weak to ghosts? I don't think anyone else is weak to ghosts. Are there really no, like, ghost weak stages at all? Callum? Maybe? Are you weak to ghosts? Uh, sorta, I guess? <laughs> Anyways, um, well, let's do this then. Uh, let's quick connect. Let's not use our uh, our regular team. And also, um, another great thing about this is, oh, uh, you know what? I actually do, do want to get out of this. Um, I want to change my team a bit. But another great thing about Driftblim is, if you see Driftblim is about to get taken out, right? Uh, if you're you know in the range where another hit's gonna take you out, you could swap out Driftblim, and then you get all the stats onto your next uh. You know, you, you, you could switch, you know, switch all your stats onto your next unit. So that's really great as well for Driftblim. But again, um, it's only well, obviously limited to co-op for the most part. Uh, let me find the stage again. Uh, it is you, right? Um, Callum. Let's quick connect. Uh, oh, well, they are weak to water. Never mind then. <laughs> I guess we could we just run this. Uh, water weak. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you know, instead of Chris, we could throw in Sharpedo here. I think that might be a bit better. Uh, this is not. <laughs> uh, where's Sharpedo? Sharpedo. There we go. Alright. A bit more reliable, <laughs> to say the least, than, than Chris. Uh, damn, if Morty had, like, accuracy buffs, I mean, that would be, like, overpowered. Oh, but, like, on the other hand, Morty himself doesn't need any accuracy on his move, so it would also make not too much sense. Uh, I mean, it's still useful if you're, like, fighting any enemies that use evasion, <laughs> I guess. 
Anyways, uh, let's get into this, please. All right, let's go. Barry and Seabad. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's answer this. Um. Let's get this started. Dar hit. Also, really good thing about co-op is that, uh, hey, you can spam emotes. <laughs> Which I do sort of miss playing uh, single player a lot. I, 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 don't, I don't spam them, but I use them. Because all these emotes are really nice. <laughs> I do like. Anyways, let's get the pierce, pierce the veil. Pier, pierce the veil. <laughs> you know what, let's get like one shadow ball there just because of the move gauge. I've got a, it's been a while since I played co-op. <laughs> Seriously. It's not just, you know, autoing for the uh, stages or whatever. Okay. Damn, that's a lot of damage. What the heck? <laughs> it's not too much, though. Anyways. Oh, we're drawing aggro. Now we can go ahead and use Phantom Force so we don't get hit. Isn't that great? If we could queue it up first. Oh, there we go. Phantom Force. And they didn't even hit us. <laughs> they didn't even use a move on us, so we couldn't even utilize Phantom Force. Damn. Rip. Um, it's mostly on, oh, damn, we got one shot. I mean, well, it is sunny. Oh, pff, well, they're basically down too. <laughs> Last word. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we got screwed over by our teammates because if we actually had our teammates, like, queue up other moves during that time, um, that actually would have given us more time to be, uh, to be invisible, um, or... Assume the phantom presence. <laughs> I think that's the term they use. Um, and that would have given the enemy more time to queue up a move and for us to actually touch that move. So, there's that, I guess. <laughs> Same day again. Oh, there we go. I was hoping we could end this off with a Grimsy sync move, which is really cool as well. Lately, all these sync move animations have been really, really, you know, getting better and better, in my opinion. <laughs> Anyways, well, that's me for this one, I guess. Um, Morty and, and Driplum. Again, I, I personally don't think they're that great in, in they're very, very situational in, in single player, which again is the meta. But in co-op, they are pretty much universally useful. Um, you could put Morty and Driftbomb in like almost any co-op team and you could have really, really su uh, good, you know, success with it. So there's that. Anyways, again, um, that's me for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know guys think in the comments down below. Like and enjoy this video. Subscribe to the channel for some more Pokemon Masters content. I will be trying to pull for... The last two copies on Morty <laughs> later today, so hopefully we don't get shafted as bad again. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys then.